Uh, good morning from beautiful northern Wyoming. I'm out for another training flight with Cosmo, my eyes Prairie Falcon. I've been um, the last week or so concentrating mostly on getting her to chase the lure harder and the uh, pigeons harder. Uh, I need both of those to happen so we can progress from here. For the lure, I need her to chase it harder. She's coming plenty fine for a response, but I like to stoop my birds to the lure, and so she needs to, to be more aggressive uh, toward it for that. I tried a while back holding it in the air with the stick. I had a video to that, it was linked in the description, and um, to get her to catch it in the air. And um, in hindsight, I realized that uh, she just totally wasn't ready for that. I keep forgetting how young she is. She's, um, they hatched, three weeks late so even though the calendar says it's September 2nd she's way younger than I you know most of my every bird I've ever had at this age at this uh, at this date in the calendar so I just got to keep reminding myself that she's still a, a little baby and you know needs some more steps so what I've been doing with the lure is when she's coming in I just run and drag it so she catches it moving across the ground and the pigeons I of course need her chasing those harder and pursuing them better um, so I can teach her to, to go up. She's waiting on quite well. She just um, doesn't have any pitch. We haven't worked on that yet. So um, she's close on that. She's chasing the pigeons a lot harder. She's not flying with that kind of hunched baby bird begging wing beat anymore. She's flying with kind of a nice snappy wing beat for the most part. Chasing the pigeons out, not super far, but giving them a good try. I've let her kill a few on uh, real long lines, uh, which of course helps. And um, she's progressing on, so we're just about to the point where we're going to start transitioning to where and when I toss them uh, more conducive to getting her to go up rather than just getting her to chase the pigeons. So um, that's you know where we're at at this point, and we're just going to progress with another flight today. She's been doing pretty well. Her manners are improved a little, but still you know not the best. But it is what it is, and uh, we're just moving on. You know, I get up here to decent spot and get out and get my pigeons and everything ready and have at So normally when teaching a bird to go up, 
you toss the pigeons only when the falcon is climbing and going away and never when they're coming right at you but if they're not yet chasing pigeons hard and you toss then they're not even going to chase it so you have to start off doing the exact wrong thing tossing when they're coming right at you that i tossed when she was climbing and going away and see she didn't chase it much so she's still not quite there she's she thought about it but early on you need to toss them when they're coming at you maybe even flash them a little bit first anything to get them more excited about the pigeon see now she chases it harder And it's taking her up a little bit. Still I tossed then when she was coming toward me, which you normally wouldn't do. But it's a fine line, you know, getting her to chase the pigeons hard. But she's doing better and better all the time. Now I'm not gonna toss when she comes out. This is real asking for, but maybe now. Oh, and she's gonna chase that one good. A little bit, half-hearted, but it was when she was going out and away. So we're, we're on that crust transitioning from and also on the transition to stooping the lure. And she likes still hitting it and buzzing it, which is not something I'm particularly fond of. Shows they're not quite as keen on it as they need to be. Generally, it's a case that they're too fat, but it can also be a case where they're not com comfortable enough, confident enough with their abilities to do it. With her, I think it's kind of a little of both. It's a a little bit of a habit, a little bit of um, maybe too fat, but not too much. I'm cool with this weight, don't wanna crank her down too much. Her weight settled in to 26 and a half ounces is a pretty good weight for her. The day that she wouldn't come and had all the issues was she was 27 so she's not far off of that so she is i think flying relatively robust although you wouldn't know it by the way she eats But as she chases the pigeons harder, which she's doing harder and harder every day, she'll get to where she will pursue them if I toss them when she's going out and away. And then that'll be the only time she gets them tossed. And it'll get her to, to do that behavior more, go out and away more, which of course results in more pitch. So pretty simple. Usually, once they start going up, it usually kind of progresses real steadily day to day. So it's September 2nd, duck season starts on, I think it's the 18th. I'll have to look up, look it up for sure, but she um, might be ready going up enough by then. We'll see. She still mantles a lot, which I think is probably a permanent thing. She's um, a lot less goofy about what she does. Like see, before she would have, she got a piece that big up, she would have turned around and tried to bait away. She's mostly quit that, not completely, but, but mostly. It didn't get very cool last night. It only got down to 70. That's hot for us at night. Usually it gets down in the 50s. Even when it gets up in the 90s during the day, it's down in the, the upper 50s at least hey sweetums it's all gone much better
No biting the hood, screaming, being all weird. Everything's improving a little bit each day. Oops, sorry girl. I'm just gonna run my dogs a little bit on the way out of here, not too long, because it's warm. I know guys in other areas run dogs all the time in this kind of heat, but I don't have to, so I don't. It's usually cool, so I run them on the cool mornings. So anyway, um, I was pretty happy with her flight this morning. She's progressing along nicely. She's chasing pigeons hard enough that some of the time I can toss them when she's going out in a way like to encourage pitch. Um, other times she'll ignore those, so she's kind of on the transition, she's getting better every day. So a few more days I'll be tossing them almost exclusively when she's going out in the way and her pitch will start improving. She's um, already kind of pitching up, chasing after him a little bit, gaining a you know, tiny bit of height, it's like 50 feet, it's nothing much, but, but it shows she's on the crust of starting to do that. And then once she gets that, that that's what makes pigeons appear, her pumping hard and going up in a way, she'll start doing that more and more and her pitch will improve pretty rapidly. So it'll all work, um, generally works uh, fairly quickly. Uh, I've been with guys that have droned and kited and that kind of stuff, and it's a great system and, and works very well for them. I've just never had the need for it. Pigeons work just fine for me. Pigeons also teach some things that droning and kiting don't. They teach your bird to come back when it chases something off, which is very important, especially when hunting upland game. It also teaches them to remount. They'll go up, stoop something, chase it off, not catch it, come back and remount again. That's something that's you know, almost impossible to teach with droning and kiting. Uh, not, not saying those aren't good systems, they're very good. They very direct the bird up and away uh, in a very positive way and it works real well. It's just there's um, you know pros and cons to everything. The, the biggest reason I don't is the just the added equipment and expenses and gadgetry and, and that I simply don't need to. The pigeons work fine and I've got a good, good flock of homers. So I would do what's worked well for me. Anyway, I'll just run him a little bit more and head home. But as always, thank you for watching.